hands, we can show the next picture there. The captain's wife, that's what he looks like. Uh, he's a big, bald, beautiful, six foot four tall drink of water. Uh, my husband, as I mentioned, he's chief engineer. He's actually a chief engineer on another company uh, that I will not mention, it rhymes with sturgeon. Um, he's building their ships in Italy right now. So um, he does get to come sail with me. Uh, he's not an albatross, it's nice when he's on board, but last year we saw each other a total of 49 days in 2019. You say, you say, oh, like it's a bad thing. I say the secret to a happy marriage is 12 time zones. At one point in our marriage, we were sailing, he was in the Caribbean, I was in Australia, and 8 a.m. was kind of our magic hour, because that's when we would call each other, um, and you would get a rundown of one person's day, and then the other one would tell you know what they planned to do for the day. And for us, it really, really works, because technology has changed a lot since we started sailing. When I first started sailing, we were sending telexes, and it was $7 per word to send a telex. Then it evolved in, and, uh, and we were getting to um, ports where we had pay phones, and they had a bank of pay phones on the pier. And the crew members would run off the ship, and you stood in line, you got your 20 minutes, 20 minutes max. You went over the 20 minutes, someone was banging on the glass. And now, in my hand, I can hold my entire family across the world, whether it's my brother in Oregon, my parents in Vegas, my husband in Italy, and I can physically see them every single day, and we have a conversation every day. So technology has made the ability to keep a relationship very, very easy. So that's, that's the husband. And then, of course, people ask if I have kids, and my answer is I have 1,362 of them and no stretch marks. Because the crew members that are on board this ship, they are my family. I am in charge of their welfare to make sure that they get home safely to their families uh, and to look after them while they're here. But I also have a furless fur baby. This is Bug Naked. Uh, you will meet her at the end of this presentation, but she travels with me from ship to ship. She also dictates which ship I will be assigned to. Because of quarantine issues, I can't sail on ships that go to the UK, Apex. I can't go to Australia, Solstice. Uh, so she dictates which ship I actually sail on. So that's fun. And she's uh, three and a half. Actually, she'll be four in March. And um, the next video, people.